let's look at a complicated circuit. Uh, we have a resistor and a capacitor. So resistors let through any frequency. Capacitors will let through high frequencies, but will block low frequencies. Okay. And so uh, if we let this thing go, the high frequencies will eventually start going this way and the low frequencies will go this way. Okay. And so it is a low pass filter. It lets through low frequencies. It cuts high frequencies, right? And so if you wanted to graph this, you could graph it as a, uh, an input to output type graph, right? And so, um, you know, what, what would that look like? Um, and if the input and the output were always the same, you know, it looks something like this. Um, but we want to we want to do it a bit differently. We're going to graph it uh, over frequency. We're going to say basically gain versus frequency. OK, so if everything is working fine, the gain will be one. And the, the low frequencies will go through because these are low frequencies down here. And then as the high frequencies start to roll off this thing, rolls off. That's why they call it rolling off. It bends down. And that just says that the gain is lower and lower and lower. Okay. And so I've showed these plots many times before, and I sort of incorrectly call them Bode plots. Okay. B O D E Mr. Bode. Okay. And a Bode plot is this plus. Okay, there's two things the Bode plot does. It plots this, just as I say. It also plots the phase information. Does the phase change from the input to the output, or does it stay the same? Um, capacitors will change the phase of things. Inductors will change the phase of things. So does the, ch does the phase change from input to output, and how does that phase change? So the Bode, Bode plot also includes phase information, okay? So, I've never had a good way to do an official Bode plot before. I've only been able to do this part of it. Okay. Um, you could say that a VNA gives you even more information than this, but that's a different topic. We're going to talk about Bode plots. Okay. And so we're going to hook this circuit up. I have it. I have it right here. It's just, it's just a one, one K and a 0.1 microfarad. All right. I have scope probe on the input and a scope probe on the output. And then I have a function generator coming into it to supply, uh, to supply its signal. So this is, this is the input, this is the output, and we'll see how it changes with frequency. All right. So let me uh, change the camera a bit. So this looks better. All right. So I'm going to use the internal, uh, generator in the oscilloscope and we'll be able to change the frequency. So as I turn the knob here, I can make the frequency go lower or go this direction. I can make the frequency go real high. Okay. And so you can see that at low frequencies, oh, that's a bit too low. At low frequencies, the input and the output are the same size and they're in phase. And as I go higher and higher, I'm going to go a bit higher. Oops. Then the output is starting to drop down. Okay the output is starting to get attenuated at uh, 2.6 kilohertz. It's starting to go down. And we could kind of compare these two things and we could say, oh yeah, the phase is a little bit different. It's not exactly, like, maybe better if I open it up. Yeah. So the phase isn't exactly the same, right? The phase is changing. And so that's what we're talking about in a Bode plot. All right. So this scope, a lot of the new digital scopes have this feature. Even some of the real inexpensive scopes, uh, we're going to say a Bode plot. All right. And it's going to come up here and it's going to say, what are the parameters? Okay. Um, and we're going to say, we want to sweep from hundred Hertz to 10 kilohertz. And we're going to make 10 measurements per decade. So, uh, so 10, 10, and we're going to output 500 millivolts. Okay. And so that's the setup for the Bode plot. All right. And then if we say start, um, if you look over here, you can see what's, what's going on. Okay. It's automatically adjusting the frequency. And as the frequency goes up, uh, you will see it start to change. Everything's about the same right now. Okay. Everything's about the same. And right around in here, it'll start to maybe get a little bit different. You can see it in two different ways. You can see the phase shifting 
And you can also see the gain going down. The purple here is the gain, and the other line is the phase information. So you can see the phase is changing over there. All right. And so we'll let it complete here. All right. So this is our Bodhi plot. This is a Bodhi plot. And the, like I said, the purple line is the, is the, uh, the gain. So a lot of times you'll look for the, the minus 3 dB uh, point and say that's the point of the filter, the 3 dB point. Okay, the 3 dB point is about right there. We could turn on a cursor and we could go look for it. We can say, uh, let's see, the, yep, the 3 dB point is right there and that happens at 2.5 kilohertz. All right, and also at that point, the phase is about 45 degrees. Um, minus 45 degrees. So this is an official Bode plot. It has both gain and phase information and allows you to design filters and stuff. So yeah, it's a pretty nice feature in these new modern modern oscilloscopes. I've, the first time I saw this was uh, uh, on another channel and I believe he had an O1 scope. It was either a signal or an O1. I think it was an O1 scope. And I uh, actually liked his plot a little bit better. It gave vertical lines and you could see the, uh, uh, you could see the, uh, the logarithmic nature of it. You can either sweep, when you're doing it in the parameter settings, you can sweep uh, linear or you can sweep log. Most of the time you sweep log. Um, and it'd be nice to have some vertical lines that show you how, how the log looks. But uh, uh, you do have the cursor afterwards, so, I, you know. But I'd rather, I'd rather have the vertical lines. So that makes it look a little bit nicer. Um, so there you go. It's automatic. You just push the button. It is on the slow side. It is quite slow to sweep. Um, but then again, uh, you don't have to do anything. You just push the button and wait. Okay, we did a, a low-pass filter. Let's do a high-pass filter. We've just swapped the locations of these two components, right? Put the capacitor here to there and the resistor from there to there, and this should be a high pass filter. So let's do a Bode plot. All right, let's just push the start button and we should automatically get a Bode plot. You can see we already have a phase shift here when we're at uh, low frequencies because it's uh, rejecting the low frequencies. Now as we approach the uh, the bandpass, the, or the uh, frequency where it's going to let through all, all frequencies. Now we're in phase and we're the same amplitude, and so we've come to a uh, uh, we've come to a, a, a level off spot. You can watch the uh, watch the phase go from a 90 degree shift down to a small shift. Uh, if we let this go farther, it would go down to zero. All right, so we've done a Bode plot on a low pass filter and a high pass filter and kind of give you an idea of what those look like and uh, a little bit of information that modern scopes, uh, modern scopes have this built into them, which is really nice.